Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to do a dramatization of what a lot of our women feel like. And some of you men, don't look at the gender, look at the emotion, the heartache, the quandary that we find ourselves in as adults, as broken, bruised, battered, adults. All my life I have felt like a nobody. When I was a kid, I was fat. All I saw was ugly. They made fun of me. They told me I was ugly. They told me I was fat. They made fun of my clothes. They made fun of my shoes. I thought I was worthless. My mother used to get angry with me and call me a B-I-T-C-H. And she would get angry with me for little things. Things that didn't seem to bother her when it came to other people. If I wanted a hug, she would tell me to hurry up because it gave her the creeps. You know... I don't know why God made me. I don't know why I'm such a mess. But sometimes I wish I were not born. I wish I, I had never had this joke played on me. But here I am. So what do I do with this mess? You tell me. Do I end it? Do I just let somebody kill me? Do I take a bunch of pills and try to sleep away? But what if there's a hell? I don't want to go to hell. So what do I do with all this? Do you know I could be in the middle of having a ball, really having some fun, which is very seldom in my life. But that turmoil, that monkey on my back, never goes away. It's always laughing at me. And it hurts. You don't know how much this hurts. It hurts because no matter how much fun I try to have, all I feel is turmoil. It's like knots tying up in my heart. Why? What did I do so bad? I mean, I'm sorry I was born, but golly, what do I have to do? to stop people from making me feel so worthless all the time. I get tired of the put downs. I get tired of the criticisms. So what do I do about that? <sighs> now, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Some of you feel that way. Some of what I said was my experience before I got saved. But I got saved when I was 27. And let me share with you what it was like when God came into my life. I felt alive for the first time in my life. I used to refer to myself as the walking dead. And then all of a sudden I came alive. The love that God has flooded me with. It's a supernatural love. It's galactic. It's, it's beautiful. It's unadulterated, unspotted. It's clean. It's pure. It's never ending. God's love encourages me daily. God's love makes me feel alive, gives me purpose, makes me have value. I actually have a self-esteem because of God's tender love. I have a sense of purpose. I know that it wasn't a joke that somebody played on me when I was born. I was born with purpose on God's mind. I was beautifully and wonderfully made. And life is more than worth living. I'm satisfied. I'm gratified. I'm at total peace. There is no turmoil. There is no more ugly other than age. 
There is no more ugly. I don't have to worry about, am I fat? Am I ugly? Am I worthless? I don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't have to apologize for being me. No longer. No longer. Life is so worth living. God is so beautiful. Had I never met the Lord, I probably would have been dead or in prison. Something would have happened. I would have blown my stack and killed somebody or hurt somebody. Something would have gone down because I had so much rage in me that only God could get rid of. God got rid of my rage. God got rid of my inner turmoil. He got rid of the scars, the emotional wounds, the open runny sores, the sickening mindsets. He got rid of the ugly in me. And there's a whole lot more to work on. But because God's love is never ending, he continues to work on me. And he will continue until the day he calls me home. And I say to you, get to know the God I know. He is the one true God, Yahweh, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. He is my God, which art in heaven, my father, my friend, my savior. God bless you. Hopefully, you will want to get to know him too. He makes all the difference. Hello.